I did a PhD in applied maths. One of the reasons is that maths uh, is just like another way of viewing the world. Um, and there's strong connections between, I think, us as Aboriginal people and mathematics as well, because Aboriginal people are experts at seeing the signs of the world around us, seeing the patterns in the world. And that's similar to what a mathematician does. Now, I've got a challenge for you. I want you to draw a pattern for this equation here. So I want you to take that equation, I want you to draw a pattern for it. So grab a bit of paper. I want you to be really creative. I don't want you to do something boring like me. I want you to be as creative as you can. You're going up by the same number. Perfect. Basically, our stars are the two that don't change. Yep. And the we constant. are the yeah. constants. This is a fractal this in nature. Oh, Did you know it. that cabbage is a fractal? Uh -huh. What else is a fractal? Curly kale. It's fractally curly. Because they're the same shape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's fractally curly. Because the, the curls of the kale are curled themselves. How are you lefty? How are we lefties? How are you righties? And the sharper you do your fold, the easier it will be. Then you you open it up yeah, and you pop and you'll be pop, pop, popping them inside out. Fractals. What do you follow, Mike? Fractals. Fractals. That is awesome. You went to level all the way to level 16. That's really fabulous. Yeah, we need to be big. We need to light up more, don't we? No, we don't. We stick them today. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Is that the blue? Is that the blue? Is that the blue? Down it goes. Told ya. Put some cups on the bottom. Twenty, hundred and twenty-one, hundred and twenty-two, hundred and six, hundred and seven, hundred and eight, hundred and nine. Yeah, I know the bottoms come out. That's yeah, the why. bottoms come out, but it's still floating. <laughs> just, we've got this floating device. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. In engineering and um, in highest record of the day held 242 uh, mar marbles and yeah pretty happy about it and today we just did a workshop on how to take part and rebuild a computer um, this is the motherboard right here and you got lots of the other bits to do. We're here today we've been up at the library uh, studying about the maths and fire and I found that really interesting the um how it all works, how the wind affects it, the steepness of any mountains or anything. The thing to look at is what happens to the fire when it gets to the top of the hill. Fire's going sideways. So fire's gone out here, why is that? Because it's not enough wind. wind. What happens to trees after they burn? They die. They fall. The thing which kills most firefighters in Australia is trees falling on them. So the first one is the arm. I need to figure out what is actually going to be carrying my torque. The base. Now, I've used a square one here, but maybe squares weren't the best one. Maybe there's another shape I could use, or I have to adjust how many rubber bands I use. And so coming up with that base idea is the, is the next problem we have to overcome. Oh, okay, so what are you aiming for? The blue, that, the blue, that blue chair, the blue stool, yep. yep. Okay. So there's a bit more power. Who's next? Oh, I went up, hit the roof. Have it, grab it again, but this time try a little lower. Another one. So, all that leptospermum, see all that low bush there? Um, that is the basis of them. So, this is the ground here. When a fire goes through, it burns to the bottom of the stem. 
And that's how it creates these notches. And I just put them in the fire and I burn the roots off and then I shave them and there's your plug. These would have been used to knock flying foxes out of the tree, possums, you know, a lot of our more eight possums. And we're out here on country learning about some culture yeah. stuff with Uncle Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this area here has got sand mines by a mob here. Yeah, yeah. These are called fire ants. These things are pretty bad. It would make me cry a lot for about a week. So, see all the midden shell material? Yeah. Um, so, when I see these cypress, these fellows here, when I see them, you see them in Balna. Um, there's one up at Victoria Park. Um, you, you, you can pretty much guarantee that Aboriginal people sat here somewhere. The cypress, when they used to mark these trees, as I said, they taper, taper it off up top. And down the bottom, they go the same. Sometimes, from the bases of them, they will send out another shoot, which we will see up here further. Um, and that's what we call a scar tree. Um, Today we went to Wardell to have a look at this camp, sort of thing. And we, uh, great uncle Marcus was there and he taught us a lot of things about the, uh, like Aboriginal heritage and like rocks and sticks and stuff like that and trees. And if there's scars on a tree, if there's a scar on a tree, it's a special tree. I um, can't remember his name, but yeah. And he said you'll find him in Moree a lot, and I was born in Moree. So in the days when the boys would have went off with the men, and they would have made the big, robust fishing baskets, and the girls would have went off with the women, and we'd talk about men's business, women's business, and stuff like that. And so it was while you weave and you just chatted about all sorts of things. And so they wove to make fishing baskets, fishing nets, they make baskets, like Kuhlman type things, to, to gather berries and whatever else like that with. It's a very important part of our history. So that's how we're teaching you now. Once you learn basic techniques, like I was shown how to weave with grasses. Once you learn basic knots, you can just do anything, anything. All right? <laughs> Push it and take it. Push a bit out and take that breath. Oh, do me for circle of breathing, brother. We just finished burning the, these boomerangs and it took me about 15 or so minutes to do it all and I'm enjoying STEM camp. Education for our kids is crucial and for them to get a higher education uh, and hopefully end up in university and big jobs like that and this has been great in showing them the way. I think it's really good that they're creating these opportunities for Aboriginal students to get more into maths and science and just the community and stuff, making it all better for us than it's ever been before, I guess.